Hello there. Do you think it's a good idea to feed cat food to your chickens? Chicken keepers everywhere have opinions about this, ranging from, yeah, it's really good for them, to, no, never, it'll poison them. So let's take a look at what all the fuss is about. To begin with, why would anyone even consider feeding their chickens cat food? Well, it's about the meat. You see, cats are obligate carnivores, which means they need to eat meat. They don't have much of the enzymes that are needed for digestion of carbohydrates, so cat food generally contains quite a lot of meat. On the other hand, chickens are omnivores. You might think of chickens as usually eating grain, but they also eat seeds, leaves, fruit, bugs, eggs, mice, pretty much anything they can get in their beaks. So while meat is good for chickens, in fact it's delicious and boy do they love it, it's not so much about meat as it is about protein. Let's take a closer look at protein and the nutritional needs of chickens. The amount of protein that a chicken needs depends on things like how old she is. A baby chick growing fast needs a high protein diet to build her muscles and body, whether she's laying. A typical laying hen needs to eat about 15 or more grams of protein a day, with nearly half of that ending up in the egg she lays. Whether she's molting. Feathers are made up of about 80% protein, mostly a protein called keratin. So a hen who is making new feathers also needs plenty of protein. When you're buying chicken feed, you'll choose one that has the right amount of protein for her age and life situation. The amount of protein is usually recorded on the pack. But as you can see, there are times when a chicken might need a bit of extra protein, especially if she's also eating fruits, vegetables or other treats that are lower in protein than her main diet. Since meat has lots of protein and cat food has lots of meat, Surely cat food has got to be a good source of protein for chickens, right? Now, just to be clear, we're talking about occasional extra treats, not as most of her diet. Quite apart from the expense of cat food compared to chicken feed, cat food is formulated for cats and does not cover all the nutritional needs of chickens. But why would anyone say that feeding cat food to chickens is risky? Let's take a closer look at what is a protein exactly. Well, proteins are molecules made up of smaller building blocks called amino acids, a bit like a long tangled necklace made of beads. There are thousands of different kinds of proteins, but they're all made up of only about 20 amino acids. Chickens and other animals don't just eat, absorb and use proteins whole, they digest the proteins into its amino acid building blocks and then rebuild those amino acids into all the different kinds of proteins she needs. So she needs to eat proteins that contain a good selection of amino acids. Chickens can even break down the amino acids into their component parts of nitrogen and carboxyl groups and rebuild them into different amino acids if the ones she needs to make a particular protein are not available, but only some amino acids. There are some amino acids that chickens just can't make. The chicken must get these particular amino acids ready-made from her diet. So these amino acids are called essential amino acids because they're essential to be in the chicken's diet. Probably the most important of these essential amino acids is methionine. Methionine is important because chickens need it to make proteins, muscles, bones, feathers, hormones, antibodies, eggs, immune function, digestion and so on. They can't make it, it's an essential amino acid, and there's not much of it in the typical ingredients of poultry feed. Methionine is the first limiting amino acid in plant-based poultry feed, but there's plenty of methionine in meat and other animal products. So one way of ensuring that poultry feed has plenty of methionine and the other essential amino acids is to include lots of high protein ingredients like meat. But this is expensive and it leads to the chicken excreting lots of nitrogen from the other amino acids they don't need 
and this excess nitrogen excretion is not environmentally friendly. So, since the 1960s, many poultry feeds have been supplemented with methionine itself as an individual amino acid. But let's get back to the cat food. We can rephrase our original statement. Meat has lots of methionine and cat food has lots of meat, so surely cat food is a good source of methionine for chickens. Well, like many things in life, it's actually all about balance. Since methionine has been used in commercial poultry feeds for so long, there's been plenty of time for various studies about it, and quite a few that mention the dangers of overdoing the methionine. Methionine toxicity can cause depressed growth, liver dysfunction, hemolytic anemia. So yes, there's no doubt that too much methionine, like too much of anything really, is dangerous. In fact, the toxicity threshold for methionine is relatively low compared to the other amino acids. So yes, it's riskier than most. But even so, the toxic effects of methionine are seen when methionine itself makes up about 1% of the chicken's total diet, which is a lot. This very high level of methionine would be possible if the wrong amount of supplemental methionine was added to chicken feed, but it's not likely in a diet that includes meat or meat products, including cat food, as an occasional treat. So go ahead. If you want to feed your chicken extra protein to help her when she's growing new feathers or recovering from an injury, feel free to give her a high protein treat like cat food or tuna or eggs or sunflower seeds or mealworms. Just remember, treats should be just that. Occasional treats, not most of her diet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy those chickens.